this is quite a nice area of standing water where we can look at collecting some and purifying it for drinking. So it would be ideal in everybody's woodland to have a, a lovely fresh mountain brook running through it but the reality is there's not many of those woodlands around most people are stuck with stagnant collections of water this time of year like we have here. If you're in a survival situation the rule of thumb is if this is your water supply this is what you drink. It will make you ill but the rule is you put more in than comes out and if you do that you survive. Now I can guarantee you wherever you go in the world if you dig a hole you will eventually find water. That hole might be two miles deep so therefore you'd spend an awful lot of time and energy digging it but if you know certain plants you can find indications of where water is closer to the surface and one of the best plants for finding water close to the surface is this plant here. So this is soft rush, got no edible properties whatsoever but the beauty of it is if you split it open it contains like a white spongy material. Now this you can use as a filter straw in the water you suck the water up through there and any small particles, insect eggs, any pieces of floating debris and stuff like that will get stuck in this spongy material so therefore you're improving your water source. You literally do get a few drops out of that, that's all you get. That's it. This is the more advanced method. It's more effective and more efficient. It's called a puri straw, developed by the military, designed so that you can drink out of any water source and it gives you sort of 99.9% .9 clean pure water that won't make you ill. It lasts for about 70 litres and after a while as you're sucking through there to get your water you can't get any more water through which means it's full, it's clogged so you need to throw it away and get another one. I well, didn't quite see it, clear, clean water has no taste whatsoever to it so you're not picking up any residue of any of the soil or any bacteria or anything like that. essentially do exactly the same job. Well, that's fine for personal use but if you're collecting water for cooking or for sharing with others I'm sure they don't want you decanting that out of your mouth for them to drink so you've got to come up with other methods of purifying water. And one method that works really really well is to boil the water but even if you're boiling this water here it's still going to contain lots of particles and mud residue and all that sort of stuff in it. So if we head back over to the, uh, the fire lighting area. So we put our container onto a fire and this is on a steel plate to protect the bottom of the tin. And the whole idea is that we're going to heat the water up in here to create steam which will then discharge itself through this pipe and as it travels further and further along the pipe it should condense into water. And then the, uh, the aforesaid mentioned drinks bottle that you find wherever goes into the end of the pipe and it's a quite a long slow process and it's quite a nice twilight activity around the campfire to produce your hot water. Precious liquid. Yes, compared to the water that we had earlier. Yeah. Can you drink that one? Now? You can drink that. It's it's. It, the other benefit is that when you drink it fresh as well, it should be quite warm. Fresh, pure water. <laughs>